Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emerson Ahrari, I'm a Google Earth Engine expert. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate heat waves in the Google Earth Engine platform. So, in the first step, we need a temperature data. In this tutorial, I prefer to use ERA5 temperature data, or you can use this tutorial with any other temperature data you prefer. This tutorial can be used for all around the world because uh, the data and platform, both of them freely and publicly available. So in the first step, I'm going to call ERA5 temperature data. ERA5 is one of the uh, actually assimilated products in the remote sensing created by integration between satellite data, models, and ground tourist information. ERA5 product is one of the popular assimilated products available in daily, monthly, and also uh, the hourly event, actually, the hourly temporal frequency. But in this tutorial, I prefer to use the monthly data because it is easier to handle the process because we have lower number of images but it is better to use the daily data for example uh, if you use the daily data you can use the temperature of every day to detect the extremes or heat waves but when you are using the monthly frequency that could be very helpful for larger period of time but with the lower frequency so and also one more thing is that handling the daily data is a little time consuming and maybe it is beyond the uh, beyond this tutorial that's why i prefer to use the monthly data because we have lower number of images for a larger period of time and handling and processing for a tutorial is much better for you but you can replace the data with the daily format or any other format you prefer just i prefer to use the monthly data because it is easier to handle in a tutorial so now import it into the code using the uh, tab available here to call the data here we have an image collection ecmwf monthly aggregation product is available Click on the link allows you to see the data description and also the data set availability. As you can see, it's available since 1970 and allows us to have a long term period for the temporal analysis. So if you go to the bands, you will see a very big uh, list from actually environmental and climatological products that are available. But in this tutorial, we want to focus on air temperature or air temperature above two meter from the earth's surface so and the unit of measurement also is based on kelvin in this product and the spatial resolution is 10 kilometer the 10 kilometer maybe for local analysis is not very uh, interesting but for the global scale studies or national or continental studies is very very useful so and also you can use this tutorial with any other kind of data you prefer as i mentioned earlier for example for modis landsat or any other temperature data you actually recommended for your work so now let's select the target band that here is temperature for two meter make a variable as temperature equals to assign the image collection to the temperature and select the target band that here is temperature at two meter now we have a monthly data let's uh, select a period of time in which you want to detect the heat waves based on because before going further we need to define a period of time that could uh, that help us to get the baseline temperature for that or base uh, that period of time so the filter date is starting from for example 2000 until 2025 here i'm calling all the temperature monthly data available since 2000 to 2025 and then i'm gonna calculate the baseline for this period of time because uh, we need a reference for the temperature to select the heat waves based on or threshold uh, to help us to detect the heat waves so here the baseline or threshold can be calculated like this baseline equals to get the temperature data first and then 
calculate earth engine that reducer dot percentile here i'm gonna set percentile 90 as a threshold for the heat waves for example if you have percentile 50 in that case you will have the average temperature per pixel if you get percentile 100 you will get the highest or maximum temperature per pixel during the period of time but if you select the 90 actually the 90 allows you to actually set a threshold uh, that help us to find some extreme or rare high temperatures that occurred in a long period of time so now the percentile 90 consider it as a, a threshold here and then through the map.add layer you can you can visualize the output using map.add layer let's uh, have a visualization parameters empty and here the layer name is baseline and use the false at the end just like that the baseline is created now and here remember to save your code if you click on baseline after a few moments you will have an image for all around the world that shows the threshold or temperature threshold in which uh, values above that uh, threshold refer to the actually uh, heat waves so increase the contrast by 90 percent of values the range of values is actually uh based on kelvin and you can convert it to the degree celsius if it is possible but for the heat wave detection no matter if you use the kelvin or uh kelvin or degree celsius because we are using an automatic method for the uh, threshold estimation so now for example percentile 90 for this pixel is uh, 306 degree Kelvin and for this for another region it is 292 for that pixel so these are percentile 90 that is uh, correspond to the threshold value for each pixel that help us to detect the heat waves for each pixel in a global scale so there it is and here as you can see the brighter pixels shows higher temperature threshold and darker pixel lower temperature threshold and as you can see for each region it is different this method allows us to have a unique threshold per pixel not only one value for the whole of the world actually we are using a single and case specific threshold for each pixel comparing to the history of each pixel we have from 2000 to 2025 so you can increase the period of time no matter depends on your target i'm gonna select the heat waves based on temperature variation over the last 25 years so there it is in the next step we can calculate the heat waves heat wave equals to get the temperature data we already had the temperature for 25 years now you can select only one two or a shorter period of time because a longer period of time used for the uh, baseline detection but shorter period of time can help us actually to uh, do heat wave detection only for one single year or only for a couple of years that we want to study so for example here i'm gonna select five years here from 2005 to 2010 as a period of time to calculate the heat waves then that map allow us to make a function and loop a structure so we want to make a loop structure to calculate the heat wave based on the threshold value or baseline so just a moment
sorry I have a problem on my keyboard and I'm trying to solve it seems problem is solved yes now return the IMG so each image or each IMG returned while the, uh, in, in a binary format 1 and 0 the 1 refers to the values or pixels greater than the baseline that these are the uh, as we can as, as I can say these are the heat waves uh, for each image select the values greater than uh, the baseline value the baseline that is already calculated for each pixel so if returns yes or one meaning that we have a heat wave otherwise we don't have a heat wave so finally we must get a sum actually to accumulate or uh, actually calculate the number of heat waves that each pixel experienced this is heat wave index the output is a final image that shows which areas experienced more heat waves compared to the rest of regions so map.add layer for the visualization heat wave no need to clip or if you want to clip feel free to draw a region using drawing tools it's totally up to you and the name here is the heat wave index and use the false at the end I'm using the false the heat wave index calculated if you check it on after a few moments you will have an output that shows the number of heat wave experienced per pixel so here brighter regions higher heat waves and darker regions lower heat waves there it is as you can see we already selected the uh, detected the heat waves using a conditional statement here values greater than baseline in each image and finally we got the sum to accumulate the number of heat wave experiences as you can see here for example in the darker region in European countries lower number of heat waves experienced compared to the for example uh, for example in the Asia or Eastern Europe or for example in Iran in the Middle East we had higher number of heat waves or more heat waves compared to the other uh, countries in the Middle East so here we can actually calculate a uh, heat wave index for all around the world if you select on each pixel you can see the correspond uh, baseline and number of uh, heat waves in which temperature was above the threshold detected here so for example this pixel uh, experienced six times heat waves compare uh, in meaning that six waves or in six dates temperature was above 306 so this is a very very useful method for actually a baseline detection and ba uh, sorry heat wave detection and heat wave index calculation and even it is possible to uh, get export from the output here for example if you use the export that image to drive there it is some of the arguments must uh, should be considered here the image you want to get export is the heat wave it is only one image the description refers to the output name the output name here is same as the image heat wave global version the scale equals to 10,000 because the spatial resolution 
is 10,000 meter or 10 kilometer. You can select a region to get the export. For example, drawing tools allows me to get export from Iran, my own country. So here, the region equals to geometry. And the folder, you can find a target folder to save data in. For example, I'm going to save it in test folder, CRS, coordinate system, EPSG 4326. This is a code we use for uh, actually the WGS84 coordinate system. Remember to use the comma before. Let's save your code and run it again. After a few moments, in the right panel under task, you have an image ready to save. Just click on run and run it again. As you can see, the heat wave is cal uh, already calculated and saving progress uh, and also saving is in progress in the Google Drive. Then once the saving process done, you can go to the Google Drive and pick it up and open it up into uh, desktop software, geospatial desktop software such as QGIS, R programming, Python programming, or even you can open it up into the ArcGIS Pro or any other softwares. So here we have a problem. There is an error. Pixels not supported. Okay, here the type of output, the type of values return to the uh, returns an error and easily we can handle this error using dots to double or to float let's try with to double and click in run again i think the problem will be solved in the next run so now we have no problem and also if you have any problem or if you have any issues regarding to the code you can find the code link below this video on my youtube channel and feel free to put your comments and ask your questions i will try to answer the questions uh, as soon as possible so if i have a delay to answer the questions because there are a large number of questions and it is difficult to handle them all and i'm asking you to share this tutorial with all of the people uh, all of the communities who are interested to the remote sensing because in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can learn and how you can uh, actually work with the earth engine to actually address environmental issues because there are uh, there is a large number of facilities and tools in the earth engine allows us to actually monitor the worldwide with a good accuracy and uh, high precision so it seems there is no problem in the saving process i hope you like it as much as i did and thank you for your attention